All right, YouTube family, this your God bless one. Thanks for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Ladies and gentlemen, what if I was to show you what happened years ago, probably two to three years ago, when Molly Crum, Krim, I can't say her last name, but when her and LeVar got into it, the infamous getting into it, you've seen a lot going on, but this video is going to break down and it's going to remain transparent so you can see through it and understand why this was a controversy and this also was an agenda allegedly a hidden agenda against one LeVar that had a lot of celebrities not feeling too cool about this one a lot of people weren't on Molly's side a lot of people With said GoDaddy, a lot of you extra can anything, you know anything. what I mean I that can sell for so we, we just want to make sure we pay attention to what's really going on and before we play this receipt and show you the hypocrisy I want y'all to hit that like button right quick and let's rock out. This your guy DJ underscore bless one. Follow me at DJ underscore bless one on Instagram. This video is being used as an educational purpose based video. I smoke hip hop live. Okay, years ago, Molly and LeVar got into a, a heated discussion. A situation that kind of made me people, alone. you know what, what I somewhat feel un- comfortable Welcome during back and forth how she was dressed how LeVar made a reference towards her but I'm gonna go back to that date by looking at what happened and what was so shocking that that needed you know the whole situation to be changed and, and causing a controversy so let's listen to those seconds why is he shooting under 50% from the line you go then, then when he shoots the lights out in New, New Orleans, folks gonna be like, man, I knew he shoot. He gonna have the same raggedy form with that ball going in in your face. <laughs> and then I want to tell everybody when he's shooting on the other side, holla, Molly, go ahead, go yeah, ahead LeVar, before I, I get back to him. Lavar, can I switch gears with you for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> Let's stay oh, focused Lord. here. Go ahead. All right. Um, can you please explain to me what the big Now notice this part when LeVar says you can switch gears with me anytime. Then Stephen A. Smith reference, oh Lord, because Stephen A. Smith mindset is not thinking as a professional. He's thinking as a typical, you know, <laughs> Neanderthal right now. So he's trying to put his thoughts on LeVar Barb, therefore making switch gears, meaning educational reference towards sex. But LeVar is going to explain, no, it means switch topics, and we know LeVar's personality. He's blunt. He really did mean switch topics. But let's listen to that again and watch Stephen A. Smith and watch Molly's face. Max is the only one comfortable and cool and who got the point. LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question here. You can here. switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> let's stay oh, focused Lord. here. All right. Um... <laughs> Can you please explain to me what the biggest issue is? In your opinion, LeVar Ball's opinion, what is the biggest issue with the Lakers right now? To him. LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> Let's stay oh, focused boy. here. All right. Um, now, Stephen A. Smith part made it even more uncomfortable, unbearable. You know what I mean? Stephen A. Smith taking that part to his highest extent. Let me furthermore know everything about this situation. But the hypocrisy is LeVar didn't mean it like that. Before I play a Molly receipt, let's listen to LeVar's response regarding this entire situation with Molly Crum Crim. Explain to me what the big ban from all their platforms. I'm gonna be banned and I don't work for them. <laughs> uh, see, I, I gotta be banned from ESPN, I got my own show. Was your comment, what was your comment? I mean, when they could switch gears at any time? I mean, us, we didn't see it. I don't, I don't even have to respond to that on the fact that I meant no sexual uh, intent or nothing on the fact that switch gears mean change topics to me. Right, right. Her mind in the gutter if she think of something else. Only time I hit on her is if she break it in my house and I'm mistaken for the boogeyman. Hey, I like it. I mean, LeVar responded the way you wanted him to respond. A lot of people didn't like how Molly Quorum said what she said. You know, Des Bryant had a lot to say about it. Hang on, let's read some of those before I even play the video of what I'm going to play of Molly. Des Bryant was like many few said, 
I'm late at Molly Quorum. I'm late, but I've just seen the ESPN video of you and LeVar Ball. Just being real, you owe that man an apology straight up. I didn't even sense foul play from him. You dramatically overreacted. Mature women like Doris Burke need those jobs. Facts. Des Bryant also said, I'm saying more women who know their stuff and smart enough to know every man don't want them. It's a job. She's out of line. I didn't see nothing sexual about what he said. And I'm in agreement to that as well. A lot of people weren't in improvement with what Molly was saying out here. So Des Bryant is just one of several people, men and women, who were confused by the situation. Like, what happened? Now, Molly Quorum is going to respond as well so i want to play you guys a video of her we're dating back to her nfl time frame before i even play her response i think it's fair if we go back to the nfl days of molly quorum this video over here shows you a lot of what went down during espn days and nfl days and who molly quorum i'm not going to say really is but what she's acceptable to and what she's not acceptable to it's only fair so I want you guys to stay tuned and pay attention to this video by NFL Network that got Molly in the hot seat of several people who at the time showed you this is just nothing but hypocrisy of democracy. Pay attention to this part right here as Molly is backing up. Look at the men as they're staring at her. And what is she's doing here? What is she's indicating? I mean, we can rewind the audio if you want me to. What is the indication here? What is the professionalism at this part? And we have some guys here. But let's talk first about the challenges of playing at some of these different offices. We got the read option you got the zone you got the man scheme let's go with the read option i know you don't play in the read option offense but it's something that we're talking about shady mccoy he came from the read option he's now playing that sort of ground and pound system you got you guys you, you tell me who look, look, look at the sneakers out for you the right shoes now. on i got to get the tennis shoes for you i want you just turn around okay you can you can be, be the center model you the center. jesus christ awesome. and lavar is the bad guy And you right. have vision, not only play side, but back side. Way. You can see the entire field, so that's what I like about it. LA you guys, can, you guys right can actually be with the linemen. And what I, what I want you guys to do is not go up the field. I want you to wow. take a step toward the sideline. Like okay. okay. That's, that's what I want you to do when the ball snap. Come on, Molly. You want to hike it? Which do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa. 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 This is brazy, y'all. You This guy. All right. Oh, Fun time. We, we need to end this right now. Coming up next on NFL AM TD was a sixth rounder. Now that's a tease. That's a tease. We'll take before cell phone cameras. Thank you. She said that's a tease. Wow. Now, that's what y'all call receipts. That's what you call receipts on deck. But I want to go to Jalen Rose's response regarding his woman on Vlad TV show. Y'all subscribe to Vlad TV. At one point, you married one of your coworkers. I did. And uh, when did this happen, first of all? Uh, I'm a, it was, so we like, uh, was it 15, 16 months in now? Okay. I'm surprised she even knew my name. There was an interview with LeVar Ball when he made mm. a comment about her, which got him banned uh, from ESPN. When you first saw that, that footage, 
what did you think as her husband? I was watching it live. Oh, you were watching it live? Okay. Yes, I was. The first thing I thought was, I got his number in my phone. I live with her. I don't want this to create a stain. And we all know how this social media generation works. It may trend and become, um, it, it may trend or it may not. So in my head, I'm trying to, I'm gonna see which way the wind blow. You know, she felt some type of way about what he said. He felt some type of way about his reaction. Uh, how did she feel? When she got home that night, what did she tell you in terms of her feelings? So it, 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 it's unique because this isn't just my friend. This isn't somebody I'm dating. This isn't somebody I just live with. This is my, this is my actual wife. Yeah. So for anybody that's ever been married, you don't run your household anyway. <laughs> if you tell your boys you do, you're lying. So number one, we decompress directly, indirectly about what happened at work. They, like we're not doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's later in the day at circumstance, what happened, how they responded, and then his is in a, then also he compounds it with an interview. What did he say in his interview afterwards? He was like, uh, you know, I think her head was in the gutter or, you know, whatever, whatever. So she took it the wrong way is how it Yeah, happens. like she took it the wrong way. And, and by the way, you're talking to somebody that has had so many different flare-ups and brushes throughout his life. So I ain't coming to nobody, especially my wife, trying to act like I ain't never had my name in the headline for the wrong reason or got into it with somebody in the media. You know, so I judged how she felt by how she responded to my text. So I text her, I was like, everything good? Was, how you feeling? And I text him too. Did he respond? When I got, when the show ended, we both played, he tried to, we played phone tag. I tried him, he tried me. Right after their show, I was doing, I, like you said, I do a couple of shows. So he hit me while I was doing Jalen. Boom, and I couldn't get him on the phone. So at this point, he had already did a second interview about it. About who had the best debate on their show a week ago. So this idea that, oh, she got a black. Now you see a lot of people responded, including Jalen himself. I mean, th this was a lot of controversy at the time of it. Happening now, Molly also responded to these comments, and I want to hear Molly's response as well. How you handled everything yesterday, uh, following the, the inappropriate comments. Thank I wanted you, to know you. if, um, has, has any of the Ball family members actually reached out to you? Has LeVar reached out to you at all to personally apologize? I haven't heard from anybody, but to be honest with you, I shut my phone off after work, yeah. so I was just in I was just in chill mode. Okay, do you think uh, LeVar's going to be invited back on the show anytime soon? Should ESPN like just stop putting giving this guy airtime at this point? Or I have no idea. Those decisions are above my pay grade. Okay, uh, can I just ask how Jalen is handled the situation? Does he have a message for LeVar at all? Do you have a message for LeVar? I think Jalen would have just liked if he had apologized to me publicly. Okay. ESPN obviously had your back. They said he was completely appropriate and let him be aware of it. She proved that Jalen lied in his Vlad interview trying to say he's been in situations before he understands. But in this part, Molly clearly says Jalen would have liked if LeVar apologized, therefore refuting and, and dismissing what Jalen said to Vlad TV. Daddy, you can sell so, you know, I, I have to be quite honest with you guys. It's a lot going on with this situation. I'm going to continue to play Molly saying that part again because that part shows you a lot of transparency where Jalen is going to play his part in playing politics. But we're going to look at it for what it is and what was said publicly okay espn obviously had your back they said he was completely appropriate and let him be the situation does he have a message for lavar at all do you have a message for lavar i think jalen would have just liked if he had apologized to me publicly okay espn obviously had your back they said he was completely appropriate and let him be aware of that um do you think 
that they should do anything further at this point, or are you satisfied with the outcome? No, I'm satisfied. Yeah, 100%. ESPN was really supportive, and I appreciate it. All the executives had my back, so okay. much appreciated. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much, yeah. Mike. Have a great day. I mean, just a whole lot in that situation. It tells you what goes on. I mean, the whole situation was wild from the get-go. My blessings go to everybody, honestly, because it's, it's sad. It, it shouldn't have been taken left. I don't even think her and Terrell Davis was inappropriate. I'm just using it as a way to show you how people pick and choose over non-issue things that are still ethical. Everybody why is he shooting under 50% from the line? This. You go, then, then when he shoots the lights out in New, New Orleans, folks going to be like, man, I knew he shoot. He's going to have the same raggedy form with that ball going in, in your face. <laughs> and then I want to tell everybody, when he's shooting on the other side, holla. Molly, go ahead. Go LeVar, ahead before I, I get back to him. LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> Let's stay oh, focused boy. here. All right. Um, <laughs> Can you please explain to me what the biggest issue is? In your opinion, LeVar Ball's opinion, what is the biggest issue with the Lakers right now? Yeah. LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> Let's stay oh, focused Lord. here. All right. Um, can you... Man, y'all have a blessed day, man. I'm your God Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of Osmo Hip Hop Live. You can find DJ Bless One at underscore DJ Bless One. DJ underscore Bless One Instagram. Salute, gang. Love your family. Let your kids stay blessed.